Okay, everybody. Um, today's lesson is sort of a grand finale for our science efforts this year. Uh, so the theme is, I want to know what you think. It's kind of a survey, really. Um, this year we've covered many topics in science class. Which one was your favorite and why? So again, I'm looking for a two-sentence answer on Seesaw. This can be typed, it can be audio, or it can be video. And I'm going to give you some, but not all, of the things that we did this year as a slideshow presentation. And you can pick one of those, or you can pick something, something different. But please pick something that we did in science class this year, so that I have some good feedback from you on the things you enjoyed the most. OK, plant and animal adaptations. This is something we did at the beginning of the school year. Uh, and we talked about some of the critters in the classroom and why they are the way they are and some of the plants in the classroom. So this is a picture of a blue tilapia. And then, of course, there is the bearded dragon Georgie, um, the rainbow trout, the Russian tortoises, chickens, a um, couple other fish that were in the tank, bullheads, placostomus. And I think that's it. So that was plant and animal adaptations. Remember, you guys all drew a picture of something in the classroom, and those were laminated and hung around the classroom. Simple machines and chain reactions. So that's the unit where we talked about levers and pulleys um, and wheels. And then we, uh, we made those Rube Goldberg machines, which were basically chain reactions using simple machines. 3D printers and recycling plastic. That's pretty self-explanatory. Renewable and non-renewable resources. So we talked about tur wind turbines, solar energy, moving water. Um, we talked about fossil fuels and how those can be um, burned to create electricity. Um, coal, natural gas, um, those are examples of fossil fuels, um, things that are found within our planet that have been created through thousands and millions of years of decomposition, and they are, there's a um, limited amount of that. In other words, when, once it's used, it's gone because it takes so long to recreate Life cycles of plants and animals. So I've got the background image, which is trout eggs. And there's even some little baby trout, the alevin, as they're called, with their big bellies that they're feeding off of. And then there's a chicken egg. Uh, our planet, solar system, and universe. Uh, I found this cool Lego mock-up of a Mars colony. Uh, which doesn't exist yet, but that's something that we talked about as being a, a future possibility. And then, you know, we talked about the size of our solar system, how long it takes currently to get to, for example, the moon or to Mars, how long it takes sunlight to get from the sun to our planet, and the overall size of the universe. And those are the examples I have, but that um, your answer does not need to be limited to those examples. If you could think of something else we did in science class that you want to write about or talk about, that would be just fine. Thank you, and I appreciate your feedback on the topic. It's going to help me to be a better teacher next year.